Recently, a cargo ship just crashed into a Baltimore bridge, and of course the internet reacted calmly and rationally. My apologies in advance, but you can't tell me that this looks like an accident. Of course not. The internet has blamed P. Diddy. P. Diddy is the distraction. Nickelodeon, Obama, and racism? Woke up today and was like, this is actually diversity's fault. In today's video, we'll talk about silly conspiracy theories. I hope you enjoy the video. Collapsed, okay? And then the mayor came out and talked about it. Mm -hmm. You know, black people. No, no, you this, know. no. This is a rare double post, but I wanted to talk about this while it was still fresh because it connects to the media literacy I always talk about. These conspiracy theories are insane and irrational, and I'll tell you why these happen later. But before I do that, let's laugh and debunk them real fast. Full questions. What was on the boat? Like, what was in those containers? Because it was carrying almost 5,000 containers, so like, what was... What was on, on the boat? Food, electronics, the weird leash I bought my dog that turns out it's like a zip line or something and I didn't read the description. What was on the boat? Mm, I, I feel like you think it's something deeper than food. Like I haven't done a ton of digging into this specific company, but I guess their owner was like found in their car. So like what was, what was on the boat? And it was going to this place, which yeah, what? <laughs> What was on the boat? There it is. Now, this one irritates me a lot because any critical thinking can debunk this really fast. Firstly, this is not how human works. It would be impractical. I don't know if you've ever been inside of a shipping container. They don't have oxygen. You would literally not make it the entire hour you had to. It's one of the things where people watch movies and TV shows and think it's real life when it's really not. The most common way people fall victim to it is they get lured to a different country by a guy pretending he'll take care of them and then he puts them in a system allegedly. Allegedly, this has already happened to somebody you know. Anyway, moving on. So many women that I can't even legally talk about it. Allegedly. So many conspiracy theories get popular online is that you guys live really boring lives and you wish that real life was more exciting than it is. Newsflash, this only happens in the movies. It's not even practical economic wise because why would you pay for a shipping container that costs thousands of dollars and thousands of dollars on food when you could just make women to the country buy their own money? Like, I And then for this guy to come out and say, what was it that he said? Oh right, the federal government is going to fund the rebuild. So basically like you and I, taxpayers are gonna pay for them to put this building, but that's a shipping giant, which definitely has insurance. Why aren't they making an insurance claim where they can like do an investigation? Oh, and now we're moving on to the, actually the government's involved and they're secretly doing evil things. Biden is in a re-election campaign. He wants to seem like he's doing stuff for people. That's why he's paying for it. Let's use our brains. Also, I'm pretty sure the government helps in general. I think they helped with the Ohio thing as well. Like they paid for that. The government pays all the time, which is, which is really more of a problem with how our system is set up and how we let corporations do whatever they want, but that's a different, deeper discussion for a later day. One thing you'll notice when we get to the next conspiracy theory is a lot of these conspiracy theories contradict each other. In this one, they're saying that the government is in on the ploy, that they some reason stopped this ship because of human for some reason. And then the next conspiracy theory, it's they crashed the boat so people wouldn't pay attention about P. Diddy. Those with eyes to see and ears to hear, I'm talking to you right now. Do not allow yourself to be distracted. I have ADHD, that's gonna be hard. The Baltimore Bridge was a very big deal and it was very sad, but do not become distracted. I'm not distracted. The attack on Russia that claimed numerous lives was a very big deal and very sad, but do not become distracted. Bro, I just told you, I'm, I'm literally not distracted. Both of those incidents I just showed pale in comparison to this one right here. They don't want you to see the names that are about to come out from this Epstein level crime noses. They want you looking in any direction except this one right here. The agenda doesn't include this. We weren't supposed to know about it. You're saying that they crashed the boat to protect P. Diddy, but they're the ones leading the investigation in the first place. Like, this is what I'm saying. The complete last conspiracy theory we heard where the reverse, where the government crashed the boat so you want to understand that they're human. But in this situation, Diddy, they crashed the boat to hide what Diddy is doing, even though it's been in national headlines, even though... It has been a news story multiple times. Left pocket full of pink feathers, right pocket got blues in it. Gloss and no packs to me, I know what to do with it. 
thousand dollar shoe. I'm walking on a down house. Even though the records are already out of all the people who were at the parties or who were alleged, and you can look them up yourself. And this is why I wanted to make the video is because this has been like a trend where every single thing, things just can't happen anymore. Like every single event that we have has to be some like deeper meaning, has to be some eight. 4D chess level move that has some deeper ramifications, deeper political meeting, and nothing can just exist anymore. Everything has to be a think piece, and it is so annoying. And there's two reasons for this. One is that, well, actually there's three. One we already discussed is that people are bored and they want real life to be as exciting as movies. It's not, get over it, sorry. And then the second reason is that people love to think that they're intelligent and think that they're smarter than everybody else. And so they get to come up with these cool conspiracy theories about how everything happened. But it's like this weird thing on the internet where everybody has to be some like deep intellectual and people can't just enjoy things. So they have to make up and fake reach. And this is what I call fake woke, but it's not really related but they have to like reach for everything and like oh my god oh my god oh my god no freaking way this is unbelievable ryan garcia called it but did he really this page i type in march 26 nothing pops up i then typed in maryland i don't know why it's not coming up here but on the photo i typed in maryland and again nothing pops up this isn't even a left wing right thing it's just across the political spectrum i've seen left wing people being like well actually if the bridge was well funded it could have withheld a 100 megaton force of a cargo ship it is the fault in communism and it's just like you don't have to do that i promise you under every single economic system even though i don't like this one that bridge is going to fall and then conservatives trying to fit like racism in there oh the bridge fell because of immigrants it's like everything has to become like a bigger issue it's like it, it can't just be one thing anymore everybody tries to fit their narrative their uh worldview and shoehorn it into the current political topic and it's so annoying why can't a boat just crash anymore going back to the media literacy point again a lot of these takes come from like really bad tech literacy you'll see in a second but just for example this guy using chat gbt to get answers about if it's a conspiracy theory or not like please stop using chat gbt for serious answers from microsoft bing search engine what the effects of this bridge collapse will have on the economy and the surrounding areas and the answers should be very alarming but also not surprising this guy goes on for about another minute about the great collapse and i'm not going to bore you with that just know it's some real wackadoodle stuff it's wackadoodle time it is whack a doodle time on to the next guy who thinks he knows about engineering parking lot in your car what happened with this ship does not happen what is going on here how do you have the qualifications to tell me that this does not happen? I, I'll hear you out, but I don't think you can. Oh, there is an article written about this name, Dolly. Look what it says. The name Dolly is a girl's name, meaning Dalia. In Georgian mythology, Dolly is the goddess of hunting. The origins of her name are disputed. Some scholars claim it comes from the Georgian word for mourning, Dila, while others claim links to the words for demon and god. Okay, but this is where it gets really interesting. Notice when this article was updated. It was updated Monday, March 25th, 2024. That was yesterday. That was the day before this ship named Dolly crashed into the bridge. What are the coincidences? Brother, let me give you some media literacy. You're right, it's not a coincidence. What it's called is an algorithm. These sites update their definitions and meanings. That way, Google will rank them higher in their search results and they get more clicks from people like you searching the thing. The real conspiracy theory is how much of the internet is automated and not ran by real people, but that's a different conversation for the different day. This gets back to how everybody wants to be smarter than they are. You aren't an engineer. You aren't a data analyst. You have no expertise in any of these areas. Why are you giving your opinion on it? Just so I can prove this to you, I screenshotted this at 1130 on a Friday, waited till 1 a.m. on a Saturday, right now when I'm recording this, and you can see it switched from last updated on Thursday to last updated on Friday. And the reason that they do this is because you're more likely to read something if it says that it's produced updated regularly, even though she's not doing it. The big secret about the internet is that most of it's automated not by real people, by AI bots. Sorry to break it to you. It's not a magical conspiracy theory. It's just tech capitalists feeding off of your recency bias. Say that this ship named Dolly, which is linked to demons and false gods, taking down a bridge that was named after the man who wrote the Star Spangled Banner is some sort of ritual. 
Some might say that it's some kind of sick ritual to do. I hope you are getting right with God. I hope you are repenting. If you don't know how to repent, I just posted a video about it. Go to my page and look how to repent. You need to repent today. You need to do it today. You need to get right with God today because we got some things coming. Make some something that allows people to cross over. Cross over. Cross. That reminds me of something. What? Oh yeah, the eclipse. Remember this eclipse that's happened on April 8th draws a cross? Remember on April 9th is the first day of the first month of the new year on God's calendar? Well, what happened in the first month of the year on God's calendar that has to do with a cross? Hmm. Well, for starters, we had Israel crossing the Red Sea, defeating their enemies. That happened in the first month of the year. We have Joshua and Israel crossing the Jordan River to go defeat their enemies. That happened in the first month of the year. We could say that this bridge collapsing is some sick ritual to try to prevent America from crossing over and defeating her enemies. But I'm here to tell you things aren't connected. Like you just made that up. Like, is this the thing where people put scary music behind something and everybody takes it seriously? You're watching YouTube on March 29th. Did you know March was the month of the women's suffrage movement? Here, isn't it ironic that a boat supposedly allegedly is carrying women across the globe crashed? You know what else is ironic? This is the month that Stalin died. Maybe it was communists liberating these women. It's just so stupid. Like you could do like what you're just saying words. Anyway, thank you for watching. Click here for the next one. Have a good day. Peace.